Thank you, Governor. Uh, the question I have is uh, something that came up in the debate last night. It was on uh, torture. Um, Cruz, who said, I guess he was against torture, then said waterboarding wasn't torture. Um, Rubio seemed to be fine with waterboarding, and Trump said he would do a lot more than waterboard. Uh, now, as a kid growing up and you know, attending a school like this, one of the things that I was proud to be an American was that we didn't torture. And uh, as a psychologist, you know, I, we've had a scandal where the American Psychological Association actually got involved in torturing people. And, uh, but it's one of the things I think that speaks to the heart and the soul of who we are as Americans. And, uh, and I've seen you run a great campaign, and I think President, or uh, uh, sorry, Candidate Bush had said that uh, you know, he didn't feel the need to go back there. And uh, so I wanted well, to I ask you. I think the Congress has passed some things we should be comfortable with it. But look, I have, look, my, yeah. first of all, I served on the Defense Committee for 18 years. And I saw everything from the fall of the wall to the Saddam Hussein and then after 9-11, Secretary Rumsfeld invited me to the Pentagon for a meeting after 9-11 to discuss uh, a whole range of subjects. Uh, and by the way, in that meeting <clears throat> after 9-11, we flew in on the vector. Uh, you know, we, we couldn't fly commercial. We went in on, on private and, and uh, we got to the meeting and Rumsfeld was there and Brzezinski was there, you know, the old uh, Secretary uh, or uh, National Security Advisor to Carter and Kissinger was there. and. Brzezinski looks at Rumsfeld and he says, um, please tell the president no more Obama or bin Laden dead or alive. No more, we, we should not threaten to, to, uh, to take uh, Osama bin Laden dead or alive. Dead or alive is incendiary. And Kissinger looks at uh, Rumsfeld and says, I agree, we don't want him alive. <laughs> um, so anyway. Sir, uh, look, I've got the former National Security Advisor to President Reagan. I've got the, C, the Chief Operating Officer of uh, uh, the CIA. They all advise me. And right now, I think the Congress got ourselves in a good place. And, uh, but I'm always open to what it's going to mean, because part of the problem with torture is you get people to give you false information. But did you ever watch 24? I also think, you know, there could be a Jack Bauer moment. If there's a Jack Bauer moment, I, I got to find out what the heck is going on, okay? And so I'm just going to say to you right now, I'm comfortable with where we are. Which is no waterboarding, right? Yeah, right. I'm comfortable with where we are. Um, and I let the experts kind of tell me what works, keeping in mind the fact that if you go too far, you're not getting good information. So that's how I feel about it. I have a gentleman with me who asked a question to uh, Governor Kasich about torture. Uh, what was your, what, how did you come away with that and how did you feel about his answer? Uh, the, you know, the question was about what we stand for and, um, you know, and for him to provide some leadership. So uh, it's a very sad thing to know that our country tortures and what's happened and it's changed uh, our identity. So for me, it's very, uh, it's very sad. Uh, it's very depressing to know that we torture. And, and uh, his answer, while he, it's, it's good in that he wasn't demagoguing it like the other candidates, Trump, uh, Rubio, and Cruz, who are actually saying it's good to torture people. And, uh, but it's also disappointing in that it's saying, well, if we want to torture, we will. Um, and we have to look at what kind of values that sets for us that, and for children. That you if you're, mentioned it was, it, it was not what, what you were taught as a young man while you were grew up in this country. I grew up, when I put my hand on my chest and uh, pledged allegiance, it was to a country that uh, was free of uh, cruel and unusual punishment. That's what I was proud of, uh, to be an American because of that. And now it's, it's a great loss. It's a very profound loss to live in a country that tortures. Uh, and... Um, and it's, it's, it's a loss for our, our, and we have to ask what it is that we are living for. It's not just to be living, it's not just to survive, but America didn't exist just to survive and to be secure. It existed for certain high ideals, and that's what made it worth fighting for. And so you have to ask what, did, what, what is it that we're fighting for if we're not fighting against cruel and unusual punishment to not torture people?